My parents have shopped here since they were children, my grandparents. My dad used to love to tell me Benjamin Franklin walked these aisles. Anita Brooks has vivid memories of Lexington Market in Baltimore. Hearing about changes causes people like her to pause. It's a neighborhood place. You know, everybody from all over comes to Lexington Market. They know the people. They've been there forever. And it's part of the community. Shepherding the changes is Robert Thomas, executive director of Baltimore's public markets. There are eight public markets which dot the city. Lexington Market, which Thomas oversees, has a storied history. It dates back to 1782 when there was operating on donated land. Merchants just came and created their own marketplace. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward to a time when we had built structures um, and we had built structures that were temporary in wood. The markets are ready structurally to be redeveloped and um, not just fixed up and patched up, but really reinvested in so that there can be a strong presence and a durable, sustainable property, uh, and that goes multiple times, where they are. And they need to be able to serve the, the constituency better, and they can't do that in some of the physical condition that they're in. The public markets in Baltimore City were the original grocery stores, but they have evolved, and guess what? There's a new evolution coming. It is a mix now of the place where grandma comes to make market and those who really just want to grab a quick bite and either take it home um, or uh, get something that they can eat right here. We've gone from being the neighborhood grocer and being replaced by supermarkets now to being the area destination for either coming uh, to get food and hang out or uh, to get your staple food at a budget and take that home and work with it. The jury is still out on how the changes will affect the market. You'll lose the community feel if they change it too much. They, they want to up it and make things a little bit more fancier. You kind of lose that home feeling that you can. Thomas assures me it's something that they want to retain. In Baltimore, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.